The return against Spurs may be looming large, but the players themselves have been stressing the importance of the league. The previous weekend's home draw against Plymouth was seen as two points dropped. On Saturday against Gillingham, another chance to climb the Division 2 table. Matt Janssen goes into the afternoon as the second division's joint top scorer. Eight goals for the season, he's already established as one of the most exciting players outside the Premiership. A highly experienced figure leads the Gillingham attack, 35-year-old Steve Butler, a goal scorer in last week's two-all draw with leaders Watford. Carlisle kick-off playing towards the waterworks end. Opponents Gillingham in the old red strip have made a solid start to the season. They lie ninth, three wins, three draws and two defeats in their eight matches. Nine goals scored, as many conceded. Carlisle, by the way, have scored 10 and conceded 13. Carlisle take the free kick quickly. Maka Linden's forward. Billy Barr is also making the run, as to his Andy Cousins. Hadn't picked up Richard Procast though. But what kind of cross can Procast produce? Pulls it back to Warren Aspinall. First shot of the game. Brings the applause, though it was wide of Neil Moss's goal. Aspinall, half cleared. This is Galloway. Shot came off the defenders. Galloway gets a second chance. Straight at Tony Keg. Well struck effort by. Mike Galloway, former Notts County player, with Keg with a stop. Fairly thumped into his midriff. Janssen. Aspinall and McAlinden forward. It's been a little while since Carlisle have put together a serious attack. Aspinall goes down, it's play on. Janssen goes down, this time it is a free kick. Cousins and Owen Archdeacon standing over it. And will it be Archdeacon to take? It will. Left footed. And the save by Neil Moss. Good effort by the Carlisle United captain. Equally good stop by Neil Moss, the on loan goalkeeper. And that's the best we've seen this afternoon. Carlisle United coming close to opening the scoring. Butters. Challenge from Richard Brokass. Now it's Aspinall. Now it's Barr. Janssen. Aspinall ahead of him. Now this is better play from the Cumbrians. There's the cross. And there's the header wide by Andy Cousins. Golden opportunity for the opening goal. Cousins really should have buried that in Neil Moss's goal. For the former Leeds United player, wide of the target. Great cross. But the opportunity is wasted. Aspinall is making a run. Janssen. Bar. May yet work out for Carlisle United. Janssen. Now it's Bar. Space to work with. Cousins. Bar takes the return. Carlisle will have to build again. Prokas. Now Aspinall. McAlinden and Janssen are in the middle. Chips cross, McAlinden takes it on the chest. Now it's Holloway. And again, Aspinall. 1-0! Oh, Owen Archdeacon! And Carlisle United take the lead. Three minutes of the second half played. Archdeacon, the captain, his third goal of the season, but he's first from open play. First, it looked as if it was going to be the header from Janssen, but it fell to Archdeacon. An emphatic finish from close range, making it Carlisle 1, Gillingham 0.
Well, that's just the start to the second half that Carlisle United were looking for. Again, Varty cleans up. Now it's McAlinden. Now it's Janssen. Here's Owen Archdeacon, the captain. The foul by George and Dar, the free kick to Carlisle United. Five blue shirts bunched together, waiting to receive. The keeper loses it, and it's in! Stefan Bunwechi! Well, Neil Moss lost out. Bunwechi was there to score Carlisle United's second goal. 63 minutes played. The Frenchman, his first goal of the season. It goes down as the goalkeeping mistake by Neil Moss, failing to deal with the free kick. Pudwachi, the goal poacher. Not a role you'd really expect from him, but pretty effective in it. Well, that second goal should, and I say should, have wrapped up the three points for Carlisle United. Aspinall making life difficult. Holloway. McAlinden. Just wide. Great effort from Gareth McAlinden. When he shoots, it's usually on target. Well, on this occasion, it was wide, but just wide of the diving arm of Neil Moss. <coughs> Stoppage time we're playing. Hessenthaler for Gillingham. A goal now would be no more surely than a consolation. Well, will a goal come? It's an opportunity for them. It's been disputed by the Carlisle United defenders. And a penalty, the award. Some of the Carlisle players seem bemused by that decision. It's still being disputed. Stoppage time penalty at Brunton Park. It'll be Tony Keg to face. And Keg has a good record at stopping penalties. Two on, well executed by Guy Butters. But it's really too little, too late from Gillingham's point of view. Butters, the former Portsmouth player, the former Tottenham Hotspur player indeed, struck it well. Late consolation for Gillingham. Cousins with the throw to Janssen. Cousins is there to take the return if required, which doesn't seem to be a cameo from Janssen the final action of the afternoon as it ends Carlisle United 2 Gillingham 1 Carlisle second home league win of the season their third league win of the season should lift them a few more places up that second division table and is in turn the perfect preparation for Tottenham Hotspur at Brenton Park on Tuesday night Carlisle 2, Gillingham 1. You scored your first goal of the season. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it's good to score. <laughs> uh, but it was an easy goal, I think. But uh, we work this uh, set pieces at training. And uh, I should be there. And uh, it's, it's happened today. And uh, I'm very pleased to score today. And uh, very pleased for the win. One thing that seems to have mystified people is that penalty decision late on. Did you get a view of that? Well, all I could see was about three or four bodies coming to the edge of the box with the ball in between them. Um, the ball rolled to my feet, I controlled it, next thing I knew he, he blew the whistle. Um, the referee said it was for an off-the-ball trip, no, I didn't see it, no, but he's given it, and, you know, it makes the scoreline look a bit more respectful on Gillingham's behalf, but overall, second half, I think we were, you know, a far better team.